guys so today I thought I would do a little college day in my life I'm not taking with the, I'm not taking you with me on campus but I do have a few things I need to get done before I go to the campus so I do go to classes in person but a lot of my classes start later in the day so that gives me time to work on homework or anything else during the day um, except today I do have a production Zoom meeting for a film set that I'm working on, which is pretty cool. Um, and then later on I have two classes, which is screenwriting and um, cinematic media history. And with that one we watch and analyze different movies every week, which is fun, but sometimes you watch very bizarre films. Last week we watched a very bizarre one. <laughs> so. Um, I feel like I just need to read some synopsis recaps of that film to understand what we watched last week so that I can participate in the discussion tonight. Um, but I do have some work I need to get done here and I will actually explain some of it to you guys because last year I didn't do any college days in my life, days in my life, days. Day, days in my life. There we go. I didn't do any college days in my life because I don't know. It was I felt like it was kind of boring because it was just Zoom classes and then you do the work. Um, however, this semester, I was telling one of my previous high school teachers, Devin. Um, I've talked about him before. Um, I was telling him that this semester is probably my favorite semester I've ever had in college. And I think the reasoning is just because I'm finally at the point where I'm doing so many things that I love, but also I'm able to hone down on what skills I enjoy and what parts of the film industry that I want to pursue. Before, when I started doing all my film classes, because if you're new to my channel, I'm a film major. Um, when I first started out, I just, I knew I loved film and there's so much, but I didn't know what exactly I loved. Um, so now I'm getting to the point where I'm starting to narrow that down and I'm actually able to do those things that I love. So it's just making it very enjoyable and I'm loving the semester. So because of that, I'll, <laughs> I'll be able to talk a little bit more about it this semester and tell you guys what I'm learning and, um, yeah, and talk about some of the assignments that I'm working on as well. Um, my battery needs to change. <laughs> Good thing I charged one last night. I need to change my battery and then I will continue on. But right now, before I do all my homework, a little cystic fibrosis lifestyle moment, I need to make up my pill bottles for the week. And then I can get started on work. The to-do list for today is for my art of storytelling class. It's basically where we learn what makes a story and how to tell a good story. Um, I have an upcoming exam for that class, so I just need to review some terms and videos and such. 
um, not all of that has to be done today, but I would like to take care of that today, or at least get started on that. Um, for my cinematic media history class, we analyze different films in that class. I need to respond to a couple of discussion forums, and then I need to complete some reading. And then for my screenwriting class, I need to turn in my rewrite. And screenwriting, I always get asked this, screenwriting, it's the script of a movie, in case you didn't know that. Um, but I wrote a screenplay a while ago, and not a while ago, a week ago, week and a half ago. And we had some constructive criticism um, that we received back. And um, for extra credit, you can turn in a rewrite. And I've been working on a rewrite with someone who's been giving me guidance. So I need to finish that rewrite, send it to my mentor, and then I can turn it in to my teacher. <laughs> and then um, for my practical application class, um, this one is an interesting class. We're learning hands-on experience of different capstones. Capstones are your final film, like your final project of your senior year. I'm going into my senior year, so this class, it teaches me everything I'll need to know for when it's time to do my capstone. And you're required to work on crew of a couple of other capstones of other seniors. Uh, so this is this is an interesting class and I'm learning a lot but I need to respond to an email for that class and then I need to respond to a couple other emails because I need um, I have a few production meetings for those capstones that I'm working on set for. So I need to get that done because we actually have some filming days coming up and for one capstone I'm the script supervisor and I have my my binder here. I organized it last night and basically, um, this is my binder, <laughs> when you're a script supervisor you are, essentially you are like the secretary on set, but more. You have to take notes and make sure that everyone is following the script and if anyone calls for line, you say the line, but also you take a lot of notes and make sure that you know the director is happy with what's going on, that all the props and all the details are matching the script or matching what's being filmed. You just really have to pay attention to detail, take a lot of notes. Um, so I made up this binder last night, it has a, a ruler in it because I saw online that when you're taking notes it's good to have a ruler, that way you can just make like little columns and such to write notes in. <coughs> and then you have notebook paper. And then this is, this is just a list of the crew, um, I'm not going to show it on screen, but this is a list of the crew, I just thought I should have that. And then this is more information of the crew. This is the call sheet. So the call sheet gives you the time that you need to be on set, ready to go. And it gives you like a schedule of all the different things that they're gonna be filming and um, like the duration of each thing that they're filming. So like say they wanna film scene five and they want to shoot it for like like 15 minutes then that's how long it would take um, so everything is scheduled out and this is I'm also making sure that everything is timed correctly and that we're I'm not really making sure that we're on schedule but I'm just making sure that the scenes match the duration of what the director originally wanted um, so then I have a few more call sheets and then this is the shot list um, I mean, it's easy to Google this. I'd, I'd really love to show you guys this as an example, but this has like information I can't share. Um, but this is a shot list that shows like shot A, where it's going to be filmed at, um, what the camera angle is going to be, and the description of what's being filmed and everything like that. Um, I need this for my notes as well. And I also have the script here 
for me to make any notes and I have another copy of the script with me. Um, I do need to print out one more copy of a document for note taking. So I'll print that out later and put it in here. Alright you guys, so that wraps up my college day in the life as a film student. I obviously didn't take you guys with me to class, um, but I was able to show you a little bit behind the scenes of some of the work that I do for my other classes. I have a lot to get done today and I was able to finish 90% of all that work, which I'm really happy about, which means I'm right on track for where I want to be with my homework load and everything like that. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you guys are curious about anything with um, film school or anything like that, definitely comment below and I'd love to make a video about it since it is part of my future, my career, and what my current major is. So <laughs> anyways, you guys, I gotta have to get... Definitely be sure to follow me on Instagram because then you can stay up to date on my life. And yeah, with that said, you guys, I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.